Push notifications are coming to web apps and one best practice that just became an anti pattern. I'm Rob Dodson, this is Lazy Web. Chrome 42 hit stable this week and with it comes a number of new features. Push notifications let users opt into timely updates, install banners prompt users to save pages to their home screen, permissions let you know if you can use an API, fetch acts as a replacement for XHR, and it even includes support for ES6 classes. Even though I started Jacob Kaplan-Moss keynote from this year's PyCon breaks down the dichotomy that developers are either 10x badasses or completely terrible. Removing these assumptions helps us better address problems like imposter syndrome and work to improve potentially toxic work environments. Protocol relative URLs are now an anti-pattern. Tweeted by Paul Irish this week, the practice of leaving off the protocol from a URL is now discouraged as it can possibly lead to man-on-the-site attacks similar to the one that hit GitHub. The new recommendation is to always request an asset over HTTPS if it is available on SSL. Check to see if your site is mobile-friendly. A recent article on the Google Webmasters blog indicates that starting immediately, Google search will add labels next to sites that it considers mobile-friendly. The criteria includes such things as making sure that users don't have to zoom to read the page and links that are spaced far enough apart. You can use the mobile-friendly test to ensure your site meets the bar and skill up over at Web Fundamentals. Learning Git can be tough. A look at Stack Overflow reveals over 53,000 Git-related questions, but help is on the way. First Aid Git is a searchable index of the most commonly asked Git questions. Curious how to undo a change that you've just pushed to master? You can find that answer and more, or submit a pull request to add to the index. 60 frames per second is the target for a smooth web experience, but it's easy to fall off the fast path. Paul Lewis and Cameron Pittman show you how to optimize the four major areas of your app, response, animate, idle, and load, aka rail, in this free six-part Udacity course. Blast Jank Invaders and Master Dev Tools all while learning the secrets to a faster web app. That's it for this week. I'll leave you with the JavaScript screensaver. As always, thanks for watching.